So continuing my top 40 quarterback rankings and moving on to number 14 now, it's going to be Cam Newton. He's actually someone I probably would have had a couple of spots higher, but just due to the injury, I kind of have to put him back a little bit just because we don't know how well he'll be next year. But one healthy, there's no doubt about it, Cam Newton is one of the better quarterbacks in this league. And one thing I actually feel like has always been underrated about Cam Newton is this guy's actually a pretty smart player. No one ever talks about that, but he can get some very good reads sometime, and this one will be an example of that. Where what's going to happen is it's going to be play action, and basically Newton is going to fake as though it's going to be a screen pass to that receiver right there. However, that is not going to be the case, and to have those three Carolina Panthers who are going to be running those routes right there, and one of those routes could get open as they're very far deep down the field. And so at first, what Newton's going to do is do a very good job of doing his part and making sure that he is faking the screen pass, and he also faked the handoff. So both of those two things very well done and so then you know he's gonna load up and look to try to make a throw however there's one problem happening right now well yes maybe you could make this throw right here on paper just because that panther is looking to be kind of open this is not cover two this is cover three meaning that there's gonna be another falcon who's right over there granted he's further down to the bottom half of the screen than he is to the top half of the screen but as you see he's gonna be breaking up to the top half of the screen because he realizes that's the route that cam newton is gonna try to throw this ball to Newton could try to throw it to the bottom half of the screen on that go route, but again, that's a risky play, and it could easily result in an interception. He's basically just throwing it up there and hoping for the best. So what's he going to do instead? Well, he sees he has Christian McCaffrey right over there. So he's just going to take a check down here, get some yards, and move on to the next play. He hits McCaffrey, and McCaffrey's able to pick up some nice yards after he makes the catch, and they're able to pick up the first down after it. Of course, you have to give credit to McCaffrey, who just made a good play after the catch, but you also have to give some credit to Cam Newton for realizing what was going on, saying, you know what? I don't need to take a chance right here, and said I'll just dump it off to McCaffrey. You know, there's that saying, like, it's a poor carpenter who blames his tools. Well, I also feel like it's a poor carpenter who doesn't use his best tools. If you have a great tool, why not use it? If you have Christian McCaffrey, why not check down to him a decent amount, because he can pick up some yards. I mean, that's one of the ways his division rival, Drew Brees, has turned into a Hall of Fame quarterback with how many checkdowns he does. He tries to make sure that every play results in positive yardage no matter what, and that's what Cam Newton did there, and that's what Cam Newton does pretty often, which is part of the reason why the Panthers offense has been successful for so long with Cam Newton as quarterback. You know, that was a second down and seven. You don't need to get 50 yards every play. Set up a third down and short or potentially a first down. There it was a first down. One more thing I like about Cam Newton is he's a good pocket passer. I mean, that is something that I do feel like is accurate about him is this guy can just play a traditional quarterback role very well. Guys like Robert Griffin III and Tim Tebow aren't quite as good of throwers as someone like Cam Newton, and that's a large part of the reason why they kind of had a short shelf life. Although Griffin also had injuries that played into it, so maybe not the best example. But anyways, what Carolina's gonna do here is a pretty simple zone bust where what they're going to do is have their tight end basically just run straight down there and then it'll have a receiver cut over and hopefully the tight end will push that falcon back and then the receiver who's running underneath him could potentially get open that's the way the carolina panthers are hoping this play is going to work and so basically what you'll see is that this does work and there's a carolina panther who is kind of open but he's not wide open by any means there's an atlanta defender on either side of him so cam newton is going to kind of have to thread this needle a little bit again there definitely is a solid window however if this throw is a little bit soft or goes in either direction this could not only just be an incompletion this could be an interception or perhaps even a pick six if he makes a throw bad enough. So this is by no means an easy play for Cam Newton to make. So Newton doesn't hesitate, throws at the perfect time, but also just makes a great throw for a touchdown. Again, if we're talking degrees of difficulty on that play, that's not exactly Aaron Rodgers' Hail Mary in the divisional round against Arizona, but it's still a pretty significant play, and it's the type of play that Cam Newton makes consistently, and that's what I value more. You know, being a consistent player who just makes the right play the majority of the time actually does way more good than being someone who maybe has the capabilities of doing something something fantastic, but doesn't do the little things as well, especially in the quarterback position. I mean, Ryan Fitzpatrick will make some throws that make you say, oh my goodness, how did anyone make that throw? But then he'll throw it directly to the other team three times in that game. I don't think anyone would say they'd rather have Ryan Fitzpatrick than Cam Newton. And one more thing that you gotta love about Cam Newton that helps him in the passing game is his running ability. And I'm not just talking about how the fact that he can run opens things up in the passing game. I'm talking about literally in just legitimate passing situations, him still being a good running quarterback can become a benefit. Like here, Atlanta's gonna actually be running a cover one blitz right now. And so the key matchup to watch right now is actually gonna be that Atlanta Falcon going up against Carolina's left tackle. And mostly because if you watch him, he's just gonna completely own that matchup and easily get right to Cam Newton. Just a great play by him. So now Newton's in trouble. I mean, there is a receiver right over there who maybe Cam Newton would want to try to throw to, but of course he has to get around that Falcon who is right in his face right now. And that's one of the things that Newton doesn't get enough credit for, is being a scrambling quarterback as well. I think everyone when talking about Cam Newton just talks about designed runs, but this guy can scramble too. I really think that's all people talk about with Cam Newton, is designed quarterback runs, and then they just leave it at that. But Cam Newton does a lot of things well, and scrambling is one of them as you see. He gets around a potential sack, and now there is a receiver who could be open, however of course the problem is he'd be having to throw the ball across his body, and there's other Falcons in the area. 
area, so that's a dangerous pass. But it's a third down and five right now, and Cam Newton doesn't want to have to just give up on this play, so he's going to take a shot anyway. He makes a great throw on to run, and they're able to get a first down out of it. It's just one of those all-around great plays by Cam Newton, and that's why he's a former MVP. He makes tremendous plays like that one. One other thing that's kind of become a staple of this Carolina Panthers offense is RPOs. It just makes a ton of sense to use RPOs when you have Cam Newton because of course he is a great running quarterback but also he makes some very good reads and can make some very good medium range throws. So like on this one for example what's going to happen is okay so it could be a run to that side of the screen. That's something that Cam Newton could do. He could just hand it off to his running back. But the key route he's going to watch here will be his number two receiver right over there who's going to be running just straight over to the middle of the screen. That's his route on this one. And so basically it's all just going to come down to what does Cam Newton like more. Newton is going to be watching that receiver the whole time here. He's basically just going to wait and see if he likes that route. So as of right now is when Newton has to make his decision. Basically this is at the point where he probably has made his decision. He needs to either pull the ball back or give it to his half back and if he looks at the receiver it's kind of open. He likes this matchup and so he's going to say okay let's take a shot. He pulls the ball back, fires it, and makes a great throw for a decent catch. Again, these plays aren't going for a ton of yards, and you know, Cam Newton will never be a 5,000 yard passer, but this guy still is a very good passer. I mean, while admittedly, this guy hasn't had a 4,000 yard passing season since his rookie season, he kind of makes up for that with how many rushing yards he has. He just, he always gets so many rushing yards, you kind of have to look at both combined. I mean, this is a guy who's rushed for over 700 yards three times in his career, and even last year, he had 488 yards in just 14 games. But anyways, they don't just use those in the middle of the field situations, they use RPOs in the red zone situation. Too. Like here, it could be a run in that direction, but there's also that route right there. That's the one that Cam Newton is going to look to throw to. And he's going to actually make this decision instantly. Basically, the second the ball is snapped, he knows he's going to be throwing this ball, and for good reason, as his receiver is going to be pretty open. But there's a problem, and that problem is going to be that Atlanta Falcon right there. Newton does not have time to be making this throw. He has to throw the ball basically instantly. He has to get this ball off in a split second, otherwise it could easily be an interception or at least an incomplete pass. This is kind of where killer instinct comes in a little bit. You have to be making these decisions instantly. You cannot hesitate, and Cam Newton doesn't hesitate and makes a great throw for a touchdown. And again, you know, I pause this and slow everything down so that way we can kind of realize what's going on. Cam Newton doesn't have time to do that. I mean, granted, I talk fast, so sometimes these videos it still kind of plays out in real time but you know what I mean. My basic point is that Newton doesn't have time to sort of look around and figure out what's going on. He has to make these decisions super quick and he does make the decisions super quick. And it's not just in those types of RPOs either. He runs all types of RPOs. Like on this one, it could once again be a run to the top half of the screen or Cam Newton could keep it himself and run to the bottom half of the screen. This is the type of play you couldn't run with Eli Manning, but it's definitely the type of play you can run when you have Cam Newton. Basically the way it works is going to be all dependent on that Baltimore Raven right there. That's the guy Cam Newton is going to watch. He doesn't care about the other 20 guys on the field. It's just going to be that one Baltimore Raven. That's the only guy he's looking at. It's simple. If the Raven goes over to try to stop Christian McCaffrey and try to stop the run, Newton keeps it himself and runs over him. If he runs closer to the bottom half of the screen to make sure Cam Newton doesn't run, well then great, he's taking himself out of the play. You hand it off to your half back and see how many yards you get. And if you take a look, he is running over to try to stop the run. So what is Cam Newton going to do? He's going to keep it himself and he, because he does have the quickness and the speed, he's able to run over and even just gets a few more yards after the fact before protecting himself and going down. It's just the correct read by Newton more than anything, and those plays are kind of great plays to guarantee some yards. They won't be touchdowns, most likely, but they can at least gain you some yards and get you in a better situation for the next play, and that's really what every play is about. That should be the mindset, is on this play, let's get ourselves in better position for the next play. One more thing about Cam Newton that just of course has to be mentioned will be shown on this play. That's going to be the coverage and those will be the routes that the Carolina Panthers receivers will be running and so there could be a couple of routes that might get into gaps in coverage, you know, right over there. Those ones those ones are the ones that have chances to potentially be open. However, after the ball is snapped, Cam Newton is going to look around and he doesn't really like what he sees too much. First off, his receiver on the bottom half of the screen that we thought might get open isn't really going to be open because there are two Ravens in the area. Either one could potentially break down and make a play. It's a shot Newton could consider, however he's not going to. It would just require such a laser throw where the chances of that being intercepted are almost more than the chances of it actually being a catch. And meanwhile, on the top half of the screen, while well, yes, his receiver over there is looking like he could kind of get open, there is another Raven safety who's deep. If Cam Newton takes a shot, it would have to be a perfect throw and a great catch. And once again, it seems like the chances of that being a catch are less than the chances of it actually being an interception, so it's probably just not a chance Cam Newton should take. So, you know, a lot of quarterbacks at this point would kind of just throw the ball away here because they weren't able to make the play work. However, Cam Newton is not that type of guy. He's going to then scramble up and still pick up a decent gain, despite the fact that that play did not start off working out well at all. I mean, having a good running quarterback can just be a dream for an offensive coordinator, because when you have a play that just doesn't work out, he can still find a way to pick up some yards for you. If a bad play goes for five yards, you're going to score a lot of points in the NFL. That's just the reality of the situation. 
This play will be another example where it's going to be cover three zone, and those that are routes the Panthers will be running, and as you see, this is not really what you would want to have happen in this situation. This route concept is really designed to be cover two, because there are three receivers running pretty deep. However, since it's cover three, there will be a Raven to make sure that they're covering each one of those receivers. And what you're going to see after the ball is snapped and the play developed, none of these Carolina Panthers are really open at all. I mean, there's a couple of guys that Cam Newton could maybe try to take a shot to, but again, nothing is open. So for Cam, what's he going to do? Well, he's going to run down to the bottom half of this screen where there is at least some gaps where he can potentially pick up some yards you know turn it to a positive play that's what he's going to do he runs over to the bottom half of the screen and you do have to give also give credit to the Carolina Panthers offensive line in that play they did a good job but one thing that really jumped out at me that I thought was very fascinating is look at McCaffrey and look at how he just instantly goes over to start blocking you know that doesn't happen a lot with a lot of these other quarterbacks when they see a quarterback scrambling out of the pocket they're still trying to get open but McCaffrey says hey I know we have Superman behind me so I'm just going to try to block and give him as good a positioning as possible granted it's not a perfect block and Cam Newton does go down, but it was still a great play by Cam Newton and it also just goes to show how this entire Carolina Panthers offense is bought in on Cam Newton being the running quarterback and being the guy essentially. Not only do all of us fans realize his incredible skill set, but they realize his incredible skill set too. Cam Newton's an interesting player. He's definitely probably the hardest player to rank on this list actually just because it's so hard to measure how good he is because he is so different than every other quarterback in the league. I mean, Cam Newton is listed at 6'5 and 245 pounds. Just for perspective, Khalil Mack is 6'3 and 247 pounds. Ray Lewis, when playing, was 6'1 and 250 pounds. So, I mean, the fact of the matter is, this guy is a quarterback who weighs about as much as linebackers and defensive ends do. And when you add on to the fact this guy can move and he can throw, I mean, he's a freak of nature. We all know it. Cam Newton, there's a little bit of a question mark there of will he get back to full strength. Even as a Bucks fan, I hope he does. I hope that we just are successful in spite of Cam Newton still being a good player as opposed to because Cam Newton is injured. Injuries suck and we all know it, but hopefully he will get back to his elite form in 2019. So yeah, that's my thoughts on Cam Newton. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.